Y hola, ¿qué tal? All right, guys. So today's episode is going to be how we met. I know that a lot of people don't care because uh, it's a very boring topic for a lot of people. However, we have a couple's blog and we're sharing a lot of personal stories with you guys. So it's necessary for us to share that with you guys. We just figured. Might as well get it over with. Let's share that and then we can move on to more interesting topics down the road. Um, so let Andres start with how we met. Vale. Pues nada, le damos la bienvenida e iniciamos contándoles cómo nos hemos conocido. Nos hemos conocido de una manera muy, pues nada, muy graciosa, muy particular, pero pues que tiene que ser cuando tiene que ser, ¿vale? Pues nada, eh, un martes en eh, Acido, creo que es mes de enero, nos hemos, hemos, yo llevo a mi perra, yo tengo una dálmata, si tiene una, una husky siberiano, no, nos hemos encontrado de repente, por pura coincidencia, por pura casualidad, nos hemos encontrado en un parque de perros. Eh, pues nada, yo siempre suelto a mi perra para que corra como una loca y pues sí, de seguro también lo hace. Entonces, pues nada, en nuestras perras se han puesto a jugar y, y demás y hemos empezado a conversar ahí en ese momento. Pues nada, nuestra primera conversación ha sido en inglés, eh, como hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué haces acá? Está muy bonita tu perra, pues la tuya también está. Y bueno, ¿y qué haces? ¿A qué te dedicas? ¿De dónde eres? Y bueno, pues ya nada. Hemos empezado a tener una conversación un poco más a profundidad. Eh, y pues nada, lo primero que se hace en una cita es intercambiar los números. Luego le he dicho a Steve, le he dicho, pues nada, eh, yo uso mi WhatsApp, entonces eh, dame, dame, dame tu número de WhatsApp y pues nada, vamos que teniendo conversación a, a través de ese, de ese medio, pero pues resulta que Steve no usa WhatsApp y yo lo uso todo el tiempo. Luego pues nada, nos hemos apenas dado el número y, y pues nuestra cuenta de Instagram y por ahí hemos empezado a tener conversación eh, a lo largo de la semana, porque pues ha sido un martes y hemos quedado en nuestra primera cita para el viernes de esta misma semana. Uh, he was being really short with me, so I didn't know if he was interested or not. However, I kind of got a hint that he wasn't from here, so then I just straight up asked him and then he told me where he was from, so I was like, oh cool. I said, you know, have any friends or anything? I wanted to get his number and we actually added each other on Instagram and then after liking each other's pictures and sliding into his DMs, um, he gave me his actual number and then I asked him out to go on a date um, to Cheese Egg Factory. So we're there, it's our first date, it's Friday, and I was really nervous. And I don't know why I was so nervous, because I actually thought this guy was great, just based on our first interaction at the dog park, and the few uh, words we said to each other while we were texting uh, between those three days before our first date. And yeah, I was really nervous. However, he made it so much better. I think he could tell that I was nervous. No, estaba yeah. yeah. o sea, muy nervioso porque, bueno, cuando, cuando sí, ya lo conozco también, que cuando está nervioso, apenas le da risa a todo, se queda callado, es solamente escucha y eso oh. está muy bien. Está, <laughs> en mi caso, todo lo contrario, <laughs> cuando soy nervioso. He's actually really funny, so he was actually making me laugh. Um, so it wasn't a fake laugh, it was a real laugh. And I was having a really good time. So, after hearing him talk, and he was just um, joking a lot and sharing a lot with me, um, it made me feel a lot better. It made me feel comfortable. I I let go um, of the tense feelings I was feeling, and um, yeah, it was good. It was it was it was wonderful. We actually spent like two hours, and almost como dos horas. Yeah, hacía una dos horas, hacía una 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 la primera primera cita ha sido larga, pues estaba muy bien porque estábamos tan a gusto que realmente el tiempo se nos ha pasado muy rápido. Yeah, um, one of the first things that happened was when we ordered. Um, I ordered a vegetable vegetarian salad. Um, and he was like, why are you having that? And I was like, well, I'm a vegetarian. So I told him and he was like, okay, that's fine. <laughs> and I was like, shit, that, that could be a thing, you know? But um, we'll get into the subject of food later on because we're gonna have a whole episode about food. It's really funny, our food um, differences and similarities, but um, mainly differences than anything. But anyway, um, that was a really perfect first date. I felt good, we were laughing, we were having a good time. And then he kissed me afterwards, and I thought that was cool, which I normally don't do on a first date, but it, the feeling felt right. Like, it just felt so good. So, yeah, it was good. It was a perfect first date. Yeah, ha sido fenomenal esa primera cita. Y que te digo, pues esa misma noche empezamos a escribirnos. Por lo general, lo que tú me decías en alguna oportunidad, que acá las personas tienen espera tres días. Digo, ¿qué coño ni que tres días? Yo tengo los cojones para escribir inmediatamente a los cinco minutos. That's another thing, yes. So I, I, go on, I used to go on these first dates with other people, and they would take like two, three days, or even longer, a week to, to hit me up again. 
Um, whereas I was used to, like if you, if you like somebody, you should just be able to text them right away. Like there's no fucking unwritten rule that says you have to wait. If you like somebody, let them know that you're interested. Otherwise they're not gonna know and then you can miss out on a wonderful and beautiful opportunity. And he was right away, like that same night, he was like, I had a great time with you, I really like you, you seem like a really good guy, I would like to keep going on more dates with you, getting to know you better. I was like, cool. <laughs> He didn't even wait a single moment. Like, as soon as I got home, he was already texting me. Um, it was like that for the next couple of days. Uh, we kept going on a couple more dates. Y pues nada, que después de ese día, pues hemos tenido, empezamos a salir, hemos ido al cine, al Super Bowl, que al, al centro comercial, hemos ido a cenar, bueno, pues nada. Y luego no sé, he conocido a su mejor amigo, que es Sandro, que, que es europeo, y a tu novio, y bueno, pues nada, hemos estado saliendo a lo, largo, a lo largo de los días. Luego, pues ha llegado el día de San Valentín, y hemos quedado, bueno, pues qué podemos hacer para ese día. Yeah, so it was Valentine's Day and we wanted to to hang out together however we understand that everything is booked on Valentine's Day all the restaurants you have to like book way in advance so we were like you know we don't have to spend a fortune to have a cute little Valentine's Day um, but I kind of wanted to do plan it out myself but he also wants to plan out something himself okay so we figured we're gonna do two dates the morning date which is gonna be his date which was uh, taking our dogs to the dog park, kind of like when we first met, kind of relived that moment a little bit, which was cute. And then uh, followed by pancakes, we both love pancakes. And I was like, perfect, it was awesome. Uh, although that breakfast was kind of late, it was like, yeah. <laughs> it was like brunch, <laughs> yeah. but it's okay. And then uh, we went home, freshened up, and then it was my part of the date. And my part of the date was um, watching the sunset at the beach, and followed by Alaventina's Big Cheese Pizza in Newport Beach, which is an um, old school place I used to go to when I was in high school and college and stuff. And uh, I love that pizza and I thought if he loves it then this is going to work. Luego pues hemos ido allí y hemos, hemos, hemos bajado a la playa a ver el atardecer y ha sido el momento, ha sido el momento que pues yo no me esperaba en ese momento pero ha sido el día muy natural y... I was looking at the sunset and it was so beautiful, we were at the pier and um, I was captivated by the, the view of the sun going down on the horizon and I, I was like, oh, isn't this beautiful? I said, look at this. And I noticed he wasn't even looking at the view. He was just looking at me and I'm like, what are you doing? Why are you, why are you looking? Oh, he goes, I just want to look at you. I'm just, I'm just interested in you. And I was like, the most beautiful scenery that you can think of right now and he just wants to look at me and I'm like fuck this is real <laughs> so then I was like do you want to be my boyfriend? No, y yo quedé como wow yeah <laughs> pues nada que, que, porque, porque me, han, me han cantado me han cantado y pues un, eh, siempre que quise eso y pues así lo ha cumplido sin el saberlo porque yo realmente no, 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 no nunca le dije nada de esas cosas y bueno pues a partir de ese momento iniciamos en nuestra relación de noviazgo <laughs> so then that was it. We became boyfriends. We ate a bunch of cheesy pizza. It was a very cheesy Valentine's Day. But we became boyfriends officially on Valentine's Day. Yeah. Y pues nada, hasta el momento, pues nada, somos muy felices. Hacemos muchas cosas, eh, pues nada, nos entendemos muy bien, a pesar de que somos diferentes en muchos aspectos, eh, por ejemplo, la comida, muchas cosas, eh, pero pues nada, nos hemos entendido y eso es lo que realmente importa. Anytime we do have some kind of um, difference of opinion or anything like that we communicate it right away we don't hold it we just say it this is bothering me or I don't like this or actually I thought this was kind of rude and we squash it right then and there and it's done and we never go to sleep mad at, mad at each other we always fix whatever is going on and we've never had a big argument to say that like it, it would put a strain in our relationship or anything like that anything that we that we have to say we say it right away communicate it and I think um, we're no experts on this because you know this is my first boyfriend actually so I can't be giving love advice or anything like that we've only been together for two months however yeah, I know it's I know it's early on and you guys are laughing right now like oh my god we've been together for 15 years we've been together for 30 years like this is nothing wait until you hit the 10 year mark wait until you hit a year or anything like that but um, no I mean we're just saying for right now I like I like how things are going Bye. Pues nada, eh, a lo largo, bueno, desde ese día, pues mmm, 
hemos hecho muchas cosas, lo que les he mencionado, pues vamos, entramos juntos en el gimnasio, eh, vamos al cine, vamos al parque, vamos a hacer un montón de, un montón de cosas. Bueno, ahora por el, con ese coño confinamiento que esperemos que ya termine de aquí al 30 de abril, pues vamos a, pues vamos a tomar nuestra vida normal de momento, pues lo hemos manejado. Pues siempre desde casa, eh, pues nada, hacemos muchas cosas los fines de semana, jugamos, hacemos karaoke, bueno, eh, muchas cosas que realmente en algún momento se las compartiremos. Pero pues de momento es todo por ahora, eh, esperamos que lo hayan disfrutado. Yes. Y que si tienen nuevamente alguna pregunta, pues nos la dejen saber y recuerden seguirnos siempre en nuestra cuenta oficial, ¿vale? Pues que tengan un feliz día, muchas gracias, hasta luego, bye. By the way, our YouTube channel name, Four in Love, it's, it's us two and our two dogs in love, and then Foreign because he's foreigner and we're in love. So, I don't know if you just caught that.